Hi guys, my name is Fred and welcome to Somersia Farm. Today we are taking you a bit away from the cattle farm into the poultry farm because the long awaiting video of how, it, how much does it cost to build a chicken pen is here. So stay tuned as we take you through the cost of building a chicken pen in Ghana. Welcome back guys. As I said earlier, today we're going to take you to the poultry farm and talk about the question that most of you have been asking me and requesting that we do a video on, which is how much did it cost me to build a three sizes of chicken pen? Today I'm going to take you through the cost in detail. So if you don't have your pen and book ready, make sure you grab them because today is gonna to be fun and we're gonna do some numbers, right? But before I do that, I would like to take you around on this side and talk to you about some of the things that we're gonna talk about their prices. In case you don't know what a four by four wood is or a board wood is, then you can see it before we get into the details. So stick with me as I come around and take you around the pen. So right at the back of me, you could see where the chicken are, is where we have a net. So if I, in my costing, if I talk about a net, I'm referring to this kind of net. Um, behind the net, what I have here is wood. So this is a two by four wood. So I'm gonna talk about two by four wood. And the same wood, as you can see up there, is what we use in the roofing. So if I talk about two by four wood, that's what I'm talking about. Inside the wood, we have metals, round pipes. So if I talk about round pipe, that is what I mean um, in between the two by four wood. And then as you can see, we have some block work. So if I talk about blocks, I'm referring to this four sided block work that we did here. And then the floor. So I'm going to talk about cement and sand. Um, I'm going to talk about gravels. So we are talking about the gravels we use for the floor. Our land was flat, so we didn't do any kind of filling. If your land is sloppy, you might do set a number of filling, and that will be an extra cost. We didn't do it, so I'm not going to talk about it. Um, as you know, we use nails to join the, the woods together. So I'm going to talk about nails as well, right? From nails, I'm going to talk about roofing sheet. There is some roofing sheet and it comes with a cord. So I'm going to talk about that. And then finally, I'm also going to talk about board. So if I say a board, this is what I refer to as board. So that's, that's what closes the end of the um, pen. So I'm going to talk about board as well. Right, so stay tuned as I bring you the cost and detail analysis of how to build a three um chicken pen so guys um i hope you have your pen and papers ready as i've taken my chair to take you through um the cost that was involved when we were building this three pen which is 50 by 50 mostly most people build 40 by 40 we build 50 feet by 50 feet side and we have three of these sides so we are sitting in one now which is empty and at the back of me is two more so if you're thinking about building one pen then that is um, you have to divide this cost by three if you're thinking about building two pen you have to divide this cost by two right sorry by three so that you know one and then you can combine two and make it so you can do the math but what I'm gonna give you now it's a collective cost of building three pen. Each pen that we have here can take a capacity, um, has a capacity of three thousand. I'm sorry, thousand birds. So each pen has thousand birds. In total, we can have the three pen containing three thousand birds. 
currently we have only 2,000. You know, we are running some experiments with it. Um, and we currently have 2,000 in two pens. I repeat again, our size is 50 by 50. So if you're doing a little bit smaller size because you want to have maybe 600 birds or 300 birds, your costing definitely you have to do some divisions in the total cost that I'm going to give you here. So if your pen and paper is ready, we're going to start um, with nails. So nails is something that we will use it during the building of our poultry pen. We have two types of nails. We have the roofing nails, which is used for the roof. And then we have the actual nails, um, four inches, five inches, which we use for the wood, which is two by four and the board. When it comes to nails, the actual nails, we bought 20 boxes for our three pen. We bought 20 boxes and the cost per box is 45 cities, right? 45 cities. So with the 20 boxes, we had 900 cities. Roofing nails, we also bought 20 boxes of roofing nails, which was 23 CDs per box. So the total was 460 CDs. That is the cost of nails. In total, we spent 1,360 CDs. I'm going to give you the dollar conversion when, I'm, when I sum up the whole cost. But for now, I'm going to be talking in CDs. So I know there are people in Nigeria, US, different countries watching us. Um, at the moment, bear with me, the total cost, I'm going to convert it into different currency um, for you. So in nail, nails, we bought the total of 1,360 cities and we bought 40 boxes of nails. Let me take you to cement. So we use cement in, in, in doing the, the floor and also arranging the blocks um, to, I think, two coats no three coats one down and then two up so in terms of cement we bought 50 bags 50 bags at the cost of 37 cities this was um about two months ago currently the cost of cement is 40 cities so there's been an increment right so three cities different at the rate of 37 cities per bag we spent 1850 on cement for the floor. So that's 50 bags of cement. Additionally, to arrange, we also bought another 56, 56 bags of cement at a cost of 37 cities. The total amount of, uh, the amount that we spent on cement is 3,922. 3,922. So we bought in total 106 bags of cement to complete a three pen with a capacity of 3,000 birds. Let's keep note of that. Then we'll move to wood. Wood is one of the things um, that are very complicated. Let's make sure we have the right um, wood and a quality wood for this. So, um, the first wood, the type of wood that we're going to talk about is the 2x4, as I showed you in the video. 2x4, we actually bought 700 pieces in the beginning and bought an extra of 15 pieces. The 700 pieces, we bought one piece for 14 cities. 14 cities. So the 700 pieces cost us 980, 800 Ghana cities. 9,000, sorry my math, 9,800 Ghana cities. We bought 700 pieces and we bought each piece for 14 cities. So take note of that. Then we went again to buy the board, as I showed you as well. The board, we also bought a piece for 14 cities and we bought 75 pieces. So if you're building even one or two pen, you will need the same number of board that we are talking about because with our board it's always the end the beginning and the end so it's the beginning and the end so even if you're building one you're still going to use the beginning and an end so this number will work for everybody there is no need to do a division if you're even building one pen right um so at the end of the the the, the building we had purchased 
715 2 by 4 wood and 100 board 100 board and 715 2 by 4 wood 2 by 4 wood yeah so the total of wood that we spend on this 3000 capacity pen is 11,410 Ghana cities. 11,410 Ghana cities, right? Um, so yeah, that is it with, with the wood. I hope you got it. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is the metal work that we did here. I showed you the round pipes that we built. So the round pipe, pipes, we bought 50 pieces of the round pipe. And with the 50 pieces, each pipe cost us 75 Ghana cities. 75 Ghana cities. And 75 Ghana cities. The total was 3,750 Ghana cities. 3,750 Ghana cities. Somebody might ask, why are you using the pipes if you're also using the 2x4 wood as the leg? The reason why we use the pipe is wood can be rotten in time. Even if it's 50 years, it will get rotten. Uh, termites might eat it. So someday you have to do renovation. If you're gonna do renovation on your pen, are you gonna tear the roof and everything down and rebuild everything? No. The pipe is gonna still hold whatever it's holding whilst you take the roots off. I'm um, sorry, the, 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 the roots off whilst the pen is still holding and then replace it with a new um, wood. So that's the purpose why we put the metals in. So that someday we don't have to collapse everything and rebuild it. But it will still be standing and we just take away the wood, the metal will still be holding the pen. Um, it's an extra cost, but it is worth it for future plans. If you don't have the finances to do that, and then you can go straight away with wood without using the metal poles at all. But that is the reason why we used it. Um, and then there was a wording um, cost which depend on the area that you are So after this video, I'm going to give you range of workmanship so that you have an idea if somebody is charging you But I know it will definitely vary from village, town, city, wherever you are, right? Um, so I'm going to move on to roofing sheets So roofing sheet. So with the roofing sheet, we did purchase 30 packets of roofing sheets 30 packets of roofing sheet. I think we after the completion of this project we had one packet left So if you're very constrained then you can go in for you know 49 packets of roofing sheet There are different types of roofing sheets out there based on what you can afford You you, you know when you go to the market, but um, the cost of our roofing sheet a packet was 300 Ghana cities 300 Ghana cities right and then the 30 um, packets gave us 11,400 Ghana cities 11,400 Ghana cities for the roofing sheet when you're roofing mostly the nails the roofing nails we put a black material under it so that black material is called felt and the felt we bought it uh, we bought just one pack and it cost us 70 cities 70 cities so in total we also spent 11,470 on roofing so which is the roofing sheet and the fit we spent 11,400 cities we bought 30 packets so if you're building one pen you can buy 10 packets of roofing sheet if you're building two pen then you know the number you have to buy so that's it with roofing sheet let's talk about blocks so we did blocks that's what we use to go around it before we put the wood on top and then build the pole right we didn't put our wood on the ground just to prevent termites and so on we put them on top of the block how many blocks did we use for a 3000 capacity chicken pen or poultry pen we used 720 pieces of block that's what we used uh, we used five inches block we didn't use six inches so if you're using six inches the price is definitely going to be different, but we use 5 inches. Um, 6 inches is mostly for foundations, uh, mostly. But um, one piece costs 3 cities 50 pesos. So if you want to make your own blog, 
it's going to be cheaper probably but if you are buying from somewhere and bringing it you're going to be needing about 750 blocks for a 3000 capacity chicken pen so at the rate of three cities 50 pesos we spent 2520 on the blocks 2520 on the blocks once you have your blocks you will also need the sand you already have cement we've talked about cement to be able to lay the blocks so we use one trip of sand that is with a truck we it went once it brought us one trip and it was at a cost of a thousand one hundred every area has a different cost uh, so it might vary per where you are i know accra might be actually cheaper but where i am right now bringing sand from wherever they bring it from is far so it's a bit expensive to get a sand here so you have one chip of sand which costs a thousand one hundred ghana cities then we move along along to gravels we also purchase one gravels for the floor you know before you can cast the floor you need to mix the sand with gravels and then cement you can't just do sand alone so the gravels also cost us 1250 ghana cities 1250 ghana cities for a trip which is a truck of gravels that came to our site then we go to net which you can see all around me so net we bought 15 packets of net and one packet was 225 ghana cities so the 15 packets was 3375 ghana cities that is how much it costs us so 15 pen i'm sorry 15 um, nets packet of nets for 3000 capacity pen right so if you're building one then you can do you can do your math and know that you have to buy five packets if you're building two then you know you have to buy 10 packets right so let's keep that in mind so aside this are uh, logistics logistics are some petty cash some things like transportation you might incur you might not you might find a shop that will deliver to you you might have your own truck to go pick it up but in terms of logistics with transportation we spent 515 ghana cities on getting the small trucks to bring iron rods to bring cement to bring wood from the workshop and so on and so forth so transportation we spent about 515 cities um padlocks you know to put um at the doors of the pen was about 60 cities those are little things um hinges you know for the door it's about 45 cities for the three pen so small things like that it all the total we're able to sum up from the small logistics were about 620 right 620. lastly before i give you the overall let's talk about workmanship so workmanship does vary and you know depending on the region and city once again or even the country where you are building it from i wouldn't want to spoil somebody's business or give you a concrete thing so i'll give you a range of how much it cost me if you really need to know because you're in my area or very close to me contact us on the whatsapp number below and i can give you the specific one that cost me but I would rather put an average um, on board for everybody to, to sort of have an idea if somebody is quoting you a cost. For, for the 3,000 capacity chicken or poultry pen that we built, the mason which does the floor and then the block work is ranging from 5,000 to 6,000. That is not such a big range so you can play around it and if somebody's charging you four thousand you're happy if he's charging you seven thousand then you know you got a bargain right so that's the range i can give you um carpentry so carpenter does all the wooden work so roofing putting the four by four at my back the board work so it finishes um also ranges from about four thousand five hundred to six thousand so pretty much around the same area you know so um you have an idea of it and i think the only other 
workmanship cost was the wording, which was very easy. And that I can tell you that it's around about 300 CDs because all what he needs to do is to cut um, the round pipe into two and wear the bracket on top so that the wood can lie in it. And that is, that is basically it. So um, depending on how many you're buying, um, you will know how much to pay for that. So that is um, overall the expenses. Um, one thing I want to say though, even though you're building the chicken pen, make sure your carpenter builds a small chicken pen, like a very small cook for you to be able to quarantine chicks that are not feeling very well or you're seeing symptoms you don't like or you know they poke 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 one chicken and it needs to be separated you need to let them build something that's small for you so that in case you need to quarantine your chick you can put them there out of the majority of them right so the total if you're if you're doing your math and with your pen and paper then you definitely um, have the total already but those of us who are a bit lazy and didn't do it or was watching it from our car or whatever reason the total that I can give you from what I've summed up to you is 55,977 55,977 right um, if you're in the US the rate of Ghana CDs versus the dollar is 5.7 so you should do the math is 5.7 so that's your conversion rate um, if you're in Europe and you're using the euro the rate is 6.4 right um, I think the the pound rate I'm not sure of today but the last time I checked was I think 7.6 so if you're in UK and you're using the pound um, if not you can literally go to the internet and put you know 55,977 Ghana CDs and then put your currency and it's gonna give you the conversion I know most of you are watching me from India from different African countries uh, but that is the total in, in, in Ghana cities and I really want um, I know most of you have been asking about this video but I think this transparency will help all of us you know those living abroad thinking about building a pen in Ghana and not in in Ghana to, to have the supervision and so on I hope this gives you the idea those of us who are out there thinking how much do I need I don't want to get stuck in the middle I hope this also help you plan well and know when to start you can always build big but you can also always start with even 100 chickens if you watch our first video we started with about 200 chickens right until we build this so I hope this is helpful and I'm expecting to hear comments our uh, whatsapp number is there please don't call um, send us a whatsapp message or an audio and I'll try my best to get um, in touch with you within 24 hours as I do the video and do farm work and come home and do um, personal life you know a little bit of chilling as well but uh, yeah thank you guys for sticking around uh, we'll be bringing you another video on um, poultry very soon because we are one month in our poultry farm so we are going to bring you a video on what to expect what are the costs involved what are the expectations in having chicken for one month so st stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like that thank you very much guys for staying along